Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're gonna go over Poana grass. Let's get right into the video. Poana grass is also known as annual bluegrass. This is an annual weed that's commonly found in your lawn and sometimes in your landscape. It's extremely hard to get under control and that's because each individual plant can produce up to 100 seeds within just an eight week period. Now that's crazy. Now one of the other major challenges with Poana is that the seeds can sit dormant in the soil for several years. So yes, yeah, so you could have had this grass years ago or some wonderful bird friends of yours could have brought some seeds by several years ago, dropped them into your yard, sat dormant for years, and then when the conditions are right, cool wet weather comes up, boom, those seeds can germinate. So that's why you cannot see this grass in your lawn. And then all of a sudden in a wet winter or when the conditions are right, this weed starts to pop up even if you've applied a pre-emergent. Now to make sure we're talking about the right grass, this is what Poana looks like. is tall, tasseled seed stalk that will typically stand up above the rest of the lawn and become visible in late spring or early summer. Now here's some examples of Poana in our landscape. Oh yeah, this for some reason it loves growing in between the cracks here. And of course, we're not putting any pre-emergence or preventing, but as you can see, there it is with all those little white seed heads that love to spread and grow. Poana grass germinates in the late fall and early spring. So the timing of Poana control is extremely important to have effective results. There's no real good post-emergent herbicide you can use to actively treat the weed, which makes it really tough to get control. Also, it's growing in the time where your grass is starting to come out and growing slow. So while your grass is still thin and trying to recover, the Poana is thriving, growing very quickly and taking advantage of those bare and thin areas from your lawn in the winter to continue to grow and thrive. Now you're probably wondering, Chad, if you can't use a post-emergent herbicide, how are you supposed to treat this? Well, there is some good news. It's gonna be hard to do, but it can get under control. Let's get into that. Pre-emergent is the best way to control Poana. It will not actively treat the weed, but it'll prevent the seeds from germinating and help the continuous spread. I'll post a big list of active ingredients that are effective in controlling Poana grass. The best time to apply pre-emergent when trying to prevent for Poana grass is gonna be early fall and again in early spring. Luckily, with this warm season turf grass, that's usually the best time to apply pre-emergence anyways, so it should be right on track with your normal pre-emergent program. And what this will do is help the seeds prevented from germinating. If you wanna know more about pre-emergence, check out this video above and the link below of a video I did covering more about pre-emergence. In addition to using pre-emergent, there's also several cultural practices you can use to help prevent the proper conditions for Poana grass to grow. Number one, do not over fertilize the lawn or use phosphorus. Phosphorus will promote seed germination. Do not over water in general, but especially in shady areas. Now, of course, maintain a healthy lawn and keep the lawn as thick as possible. Best defense against weeds is a thick turf. Clean equipment before mowing the rest of your lawn so not to spread the seeds throughout the lawn. So if you have a heavy area of Poana, mow that last, wash the mower blades to make sure when you start mowing next time, the seeds don't spread throughout the rest of the lawn. And also reduce soil compaction. Your lawn won't grow well in compacted soil, but Poana grass sure does. Get those aerations done, keep the soil loose, help prevent Poana. Now also, this weed does not like the heat. So naturally in the summer, when temperatures start to warm up consistently above 80 degrees, the grass will naturally die out, which is why here in Florida, you don't see it much in the summer. Now other places with our wonderful grass that stay a little bit cooler, you may see it for a lot longer. And also on the sides of your house or under trees and shady areas, it'll stay longer. Because so now that we know the basics of Poana, what it's like and how to help prevent it, why you only see it around this time of the year, 
because it isn't annual and will die in the heat. Remember, the pre-emergence will take time. It'll take several years of timely applications to fully get rid of it. Also remember, the seeds can sit in the soil dormant for years. So even if you haven't had it in your lawn and it starts to pop up, it can be from existing seeds that birds or your mowing guy brought in years ago that are now starting to try to grow. So remember, if you have it in the areas and you see it, you can actively pull it out and then make sure to do those timely pre-emergence to help prevent it in the future. Be patient. If it comes back next year, stay with it, stay consistent, keep your lawn thick, healthy, timely pre's, and you'll get control of that poana in no time. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider like, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment below on how I did. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Don't mind me. I got some low quads to eat. Mmm.